spot. I need Dylan here at 421. I got to bet. Our late person is always late. I bet free drinks for the kids. Dylan, 421. It's 420 right now. He walks in at 421. I win. Oh, but at 426, Eddie. What time do you got? 425. He's got. Nick, what time do you have? 20 what? 20. He's he lost. I gotta get mine before he gets to 25, then I win. Come on. Dylan's always late. And you have to check in on the excuse. We call it the Dylan Excuse Show, we'll call it today. When he has his excuse, he walks in again like, oh my god, I can't believe it. I was at the gym. 420, I got two minutes, I still win if it's 425, 424. I lose when it gets to 25, and then Eddie loses when it gets to 430. Eddie took the over, yo, that's a, that's a good move. What's the bet on him not showing up at all? Walks in the building, I see him when I see him, when I see him. It's very exciting here at the Strand. Who will show up, who won't? Lucas is going to talk about his hair today again. No, actually, I'm going to talk about his today. What are you going to do? I'm going to talk about something different today. What would you like to talk about today? Well, yesterday, I went to the gym. <laughs> oh, no, Lucas. And now I feel sore. Oh, my God, here we go. What gym do you go to, Lucas? YMCA. YMCA. Do you have your, you know, your, your air buds in and all that stuff? Like, I did, actually. Acting cool, pumping iron, like feeling like a big guy. Do chest. We always do chest. Do I want to, I know, I actually went on a spear mask as well. Yeah. That means you're a metro. Oh, yeah. Sweet man. Ready? It's a teaching moment, Abby. So yeah, as soon as you get ready, just think twisting. This is ready position in the second ready position. That's going to create space. You have to set the space first, move according to it. You're pulling your hands in before you even get there. Create that space. Thank you, Santi, for that moment. Spacing is always key. Consistency comes from the spacing. They don't turn right away. It's called the unit turn, right? You're here. Really, your backswing comes from just twisting and keeping your hands away from your body. A lot of times, we just pull them in too close and run accordingly, and we're going to get jammed. That's the key, Brandon. For these drills, remember you've got to keep your body away from the racket. Don't run too close with the, with the racket too close to the ball. Racket close to, close to your body. Keep your hands away. So we'll start with three different games. These two courts are doing dingles. This court is doing dingles as well, but it's king of the court wise dingles. Web. King's over there. Two people up. If you win both points, you're over, right? We're still playing dingles two to one. King of the court over there, just straight singles. Every 10 minutes, I'll call time. Winning team moves up. Keep track of all your points on the king side, on the king of the court, right? On this court, keep track of all your points everywhere. You got it. Do you win two overall to get to the other side? Yeah. So if you're doing a dingles rally cross court, you've got to win both, and then you can get over. Like both, like individual yeah. points, or? Yeah, both individual points. If you push and split, they don't even get a point either. They've got to win both points as well. Okay. Understood? So grab a partner on this court. Marina, you can be with Abby. You guys are together. Sonia Emerson, okay? So you guys are the kings. You ever played dingles, Abby, before? Okay, we'll explain it. All right, you guys are playing dingles on this court. Let's go. Dingles, yep. I'll explain that. We all had a bet, Dylan. We all lost. 
fast. You were later than everybody thought. Dylan, where were you? You sure you weren't pumping iron? Were you at the gym? At least you didn't bring your uh, sliders. See? He didn't have a car this time. My sister took my car. <laughs> my sister took my car. Is your car like active now? Does it work? Yeah, but I share my sister. He talks to me like this. We're gonna talk like this. Hey, Dylan, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, are you sure with your sister? Is he? <laughs> She have the car for it. Uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. He's not doing that. That's too funny. One, three. This is about last point. And Dylan's going to jump in for you. Get in there. Oh, videos. you got to keep your strings on the ball, right? That's a big key. You have to imagine you're hitting not one but four balls. Stay on the ball. I play tennis, I play piano. I was more yeah. Asian. Every excuse a kid has. I can't do this, I can't do that, my wrist hurts, I didn't get enough sleep. I slept good today. You slept good today? What time did you go to sleep? Like 2 in the morning. 2 in the morning? What time did you get up? Like 12. 12. I mean, like, the schedule is ridiculous. 2 a.m. to 12. That's the sleep of champions, Santi, the sleep of champions. Every teenage kid's life. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here, folks. You want tennis tips, not only tennis tips, life tips. Sleep nearly how many hours? Is that 10? Ten is like the sweet spot. That ten's like the sweet spot. Oh. something incredible but I don't have it. Is it incredible Alex? It's all about me all the time Alex. One more time, do it again. I feel so important. VAP. Say hello VAP. <laughs> oh well, thank you. Remember, when play the context properly, Sienna, what does that mean as you're talking to Marina? What is playing the contact properly? So if you get a short ball, what are you supposed to do? If you, if you get a ball that's going to be above your shoulder, what are you supposed to do? Don't back up, hit it on the rise, right? Do the right thing at the right time. Don't go for a winner if a ball is 10 feet behind the baseline, right? If it's inside the baseline, you can go for that winner, right? you got to go for the proper shot at the right time, man. Yeah, Record this random guy just walking on the board. Interesting scene. Just kind of looking around. 
<laughs> All right, so let's go out there and play. Play the context properly. Make a better mistake. Remember, make the right mistake at the right time. If you are going for a shot in the right context, that's a good mistake. If you're going for a ball and you're way off the court or you're behind the baseline, that's a bad mistake, right? Understood, Brandon? All right. Go to the court you're on, and we will continue. 